This is a train ticket used by Sun Yat-sen when he was in the United States. The total length of the ticket is 50 centimeters, and its width is 6.8 centimeters. In 1911, Sun Yat-sen purchased this round trip ticket from the Pennsylvania Railroad Company for travel between New York and San Francisco. The ticket consists of two parts, with the lower part being the main ticket. It bears Sun Yat-sen's English signature, YS Sun, and indicates the ticket's sell date as June 3, 1911. The final transit destination is San Francisco, and the ticket is valid until October 31, 1911. The upper part is the validation certificate, specifying that the ticket holder should commence the return trip on September 2, 1911, and could only travel on the 16th train that day that departs at 8.20 p.m. In 1911, Sun Yat-sen traveled overseas and actively engaged in revolutionary activities, promoting and fundraising for future revolution. In July of the year, Sun Yat-sen had Tong Meng Hui and the Chinese Freemason in America join forces to establish the Chinese Revolutionary Army Fundraising Bureau, also known as the National Charity Bureau, and decided to raise funds in America through both northern and southern routes. On September 2, 1911, Sun Yat-sen, along with Huang Yun-su, Zhang Ai-yun, and Zhao Yu, departed from San Francisco, taking both the northern and southern routes to raise funds, all the way from the east coast to the west coast, to prepare for a larger-scale uprising in China. On October 10, 1911, the Wuchang Uprising which later shocked both China and the world, broke out. The news quickly traveled across the ocean. On October 12, while fundraising in Denver, Sun Yat-sen learned about the uprising from newspapers. Subsequently, he entrusted fundraising matters in America to his three other fellows and traveled to Europe for diplomatic matters and fundraising. From June to October in 1911, Sun Yat-sen used this train ticket for travel between the East and West Coasts in America, where he engaged in revolutionary promotion, fundraising, establishment of revolutionary organizations, and connections with various anti-Qing forces. This precious artifact serves as an important clue for researching Sun Yat-sen's activities in the United States in 1911, and is a historical witness to his significant revolutionary activities before the Xinhai Revolution in 1911.